بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This is our project Here uh, I'm showing you the app.js file in which I have done navigations um, In which I've rendered uh, only three screens uh, Let me show you the home screen whenever I load my application the home screens appears so if I go there and these are all imports after that the home uh, screen class or the component is rendered in which uh, in constructor I have uh, assigned these three uh, parameters uh, the choosing option is for uh, choosing the method which uh, method will be used in authentication uh, here in this case we are using bank id authentication so it's uh, after and then the login display option is redirect which means that uh, if i click the login button it will redirect the user to another page for authentication and show login is false until we have uh, authenticated through bank id here i have uh, uh, created an array of objects in which i only place one object this is actually the uh, method of uh, authentication in which uh, se bank id uh, the full name is swedish bank id for same device which means in same device you have uh, you must have installed bank id application your device so that this option will work the arc values for every uh, method is different here in this case this is the arc value for bank id authentication now let's uh, go down to the ui of our home screen in which i have rendered uh, uh, a text uh, a simple text at the top of the screen after that uh, i have uh, shown a login option a full name that oh, which option will be used in this case uh, it's a swedish bank id authentication after that i have uh, created a button uh, which will uh, redirect uh, the um, user to another screen after that uh, i have uh, created a login button mm -hmm. Uh, which will uh, by clicking this method the user will be authenticated through uh, a bank id application on pressing this button uh, the this method will be called and uh, this method method is uh, written in the top right here in this um, method um, i have uh, uh, rendered a uh, component here which I've created uh, in let me check this auth service in authentication auth services this is my authentication folder in this this is a uh, auth service uh, this is uh, the main file which do all activities for authentication here uh, I have imported some uh, independencies from oidc client this is a library for authentication uh, open id authentication uh, in which i have imported the user manager and web storage state store in auth service class i have uh, called the user manager uh, in which which have some parameters uh, like authority client id redirect url uh, and all these things actually uh, these values are coming from our environment variable or environment file here here i have stored all these uh, uh, variables values uh, the authority of uh, this and the client id will be this one and the rear direct uri will be this one and all other things so let's go to our service again here and this class contains some methods uh, sign and redirect this method is actually called by a home and this only click here i have called this method uh, of the service class 
the auth service class in which I have uh, redirected the user uh, by defining this user manager class and its uh, member function sign and redirect it's a predefined function uh, so the user will be redirected to the uh, specified URL the redirected URL which is uh, this one the user will be redirected to that URL after that uh, I have created this uh, method for uh, redirect callback after uh, success uh, uh, authentication uh, where the user will be redirected this method specified that on logout uh, simply the user will be logged out from the screen uh, using the user manager class and its uh, sub member method the sign out redirect and sign out uh, redirect callback means uh, where the user will be redirected when uh, it click on the logout button now is authenticated method uh, actually define whether the user is authenticated by the OIDC or not here I am passing the um, authority and the client ID here so it will so now if I see the app.js in which I have uh, rape all our navigation in our provider here let's see the art provider where it is it's located in authentication and uh, art provider here authentication folder and it's the art provider in which uh, I have imported the auth context from uh, react uh, which will create a context for me and uh, in, in this class I have used auth services because I have to render the auth service right here and it's a props so the main functionality is provided by the auth services uh, the authentication services provider actually here uh, this is the main uh, thing which provide the functionality of the whole uh, process the user manager is actually the OIDC client uh, dependency here you have to install in uh, uh, your terminal uh, like npm install OIDC in OIDC client mm. here you have to provide all these necessary uh, parameters and you have to use these parameters in your uh, navigations so this was all about the Swedish bank ID authentication using react native and thank you